Labor Day weekend, 1969. Aside from the normal increase in traffic during a typical holiday weekend, folks around Dixon, Missouri paid scarce attention to a newly organized endeavor at the nearby Fairview Community Center. But that event at this place would set the standard for multi-day bluegrass music gatherings across the state, and eventually throughout the midsection of the country. Such gatherings quickly became known as bluegrass festivals. They were loosely patterned after country music's package shows, where several bands would appear in succession on one stage, each performing some of that band's best-known songs. The entire programs might last the better part of a day. That first annual bluegrass pick and time and the many festivals that followed spread the package show concept over two or more days using bluegrass bands exclusively. Multi-day, multi-band bluegrass music events had begun just four years earlier in Fincastle, Virginia. During the next few years, a scattering of similar functions sprang up, mostly in eastern states. One of the largest of those early festivals took place at Bean Blossom, Indiana, hosted by the father of bluegrass, Bill Monroe. A visit to Bean Blossom in June 1969 by Dixon Airy musicians Bill Jones, wife Mona, and daughter Carol planted the seed for a similar event close to their home. Three months later, Bluegrass Pickin' Time debuted, the first event of its kind in Missouri, one of only two west of the Mississippi River. The other, in Hugo, Oklahoma, preceded the Dixon Festival by only a couple of weeks. In time, the Dixon Festival outgrew its site and a more spacious location was found and developed. The festival expanded to include more days and more bands. A Memorial Day weekend event was added. The festival grounds were improved and improved again. And now today, more than 40 years since that first Labor Day weekend, Bluegrass Pickin' Time continues as the longest running annual festival west of the Mississippi. So how did this event progress from then to now? And who were the people who made it happen? Well, the story reveals some adversities, but many successes. Always enough, always more.